I was in the army for uh, 15 years in total. Uh, within those 15 years, I did uh, two operational tours of Kosovo, two operational tours of Iraq, and I did one operational tour of Afghanistan. First tour of Iraq was a, was a bit of an eye opener because that was the first time that I'd been away on operational tour and had been in situations where we had been shot at and we had the threat of IEDs. But the second tour of Iraq was a lot more intense. We were fighting insurgents that were, you know, they were laying kind of secondary devices, IEDs, and they were using RPGs, rocket propeller gr grenades. But like I say to everybody, Afghanistan finished me off because when I was in Afghanistan, I've never experienced so much death and so much hate. I lost a really good friend and colleague uh, when I was out in Afghanistan called uh, Zap Kuzak. Um, he lost his life to small arms fire. People say, well, you know, you kind of join the army for this. And just, I didn't join the army for this. I joined the army to try and make a difference in people's lives, wherever that may be. My street name is Lavar Global, um, and I've been... I've been going as Levant Global for five years now. Um, and my type of street art is literally, I use a stencil and a spray can. The stencil says the word love, and I go out and then I spray love on the streets. So what first initially attracted yourself to urban culture, particularly street art? Street art um, appealed to me um, more about four or five years ago when I, when I started using artist therapy. Um, and if you used to ask me my favourite artist, I would have to say Banksy because I see Banksy as uh, an educator through his street art. And when I put the love tag, when I spray the love tag out on the street, I see that as also being educational. And it, and it, it, you know, it's it interacts with other human beings. The reason I chose uh, Love Art Global was when I initially. Um, came up with the idea of spraying love on the streets. I gave myself the name Love Art UK because I kind of wanted to say, yeah, it's all about the love. Yes, I am UK based and, it, and I'm telling the whole message through art. So I thought, Love Art, Love Art UK. Um, and then like a year later, I just thought, well, you know, love, it's, it's global, you know, it's global. And, and we see on, a, on the news on a, on a regular basis, on a daily basis about countries that are struggling. And that's, you know, and these are countries where you're not getting a lot of love and you're not seeing a lot of love. So I just thought, well, yeah, I need to change that now to, instead of Love Art UK, change it to Love Art Global. Would you say, do you think there is um, a bad stereotype surrounding street art as a whole? And will it ever be truly accepted? Um, do I think that, that street art uh, has got a bad rep? Um, again, I would say, but it, it, that depends on what street art you're you're talking about, because we know that um, you know we know that in society Banksy street art is accepted, and yet there's the other side of the other street artists that because they're not commercial, because they're not you know like established like Banksy and commercial like Banksy, um, it doesn't really give them a, 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 any encouragement to try and achieve what banks is doing because their artwork will not be appreciated, you know, and it'll be taken down or painted over. Um, I think now as well, uh, you can go to more places, more cities in the UK and around the world where street art is becoming part of the, the natural fabric of, of someone's um, area where they live or someone's city, you know. And I think also because it is street art, people, People, um, people can read street art, people can look at it and they can visualize it um, and they can have a conversation with it. Um, and so I think now street art is getting um, fantastic coverage uh, and more cities are, 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 are taking it on in their own cities. Um, yeah, I think, I think it can only get better, street art. You know, as well, you look at what Banksy street art uh, artworks go for his artworks getting sold in Sotheby's. Now, you would never have known that one day Sotheby's would be auctioning off a street art, but that because they know street art is is very, it's becoming bigger and bigger as we go year by year. So, would you say that your artwork reflects you as an individual? I would say that my art reflects me uh, most definitely because. Um, like many, you know, I'm, I'm a loving type of person. I appreciate love in my life. Um, 
And I felt when I came up with the idea of Love Art Global, um, I felt that love in society was, was taking a bit of a backseat and we were kind of going backwards in society. Um, and, and, you know, we know now that there's a divide and the divide is becoming really great. So love is about bringing people together and, 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 um, and kind of trying to achieve a better tomorrow. And I know that sounds quite, quite cheesy, but it's, it's true, you know. Um, yeah, and I like the fact that it interacts with, with people so much. It's, you know, it's what, uh, we've all got that emotion. We all know what, you know, what love is. And I did this love tag about three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago I did that. And that was the very first one. And now there's loads. So what are these um, awards you won in your, in your street art you created? I won, I've been fortunate enough because I've won um, three art awards for, since doing uh, Spraying the Love on the Streets. Uh, the first one was, um, it was a military award called the Templar Art Award. And, um, and I got that because it was for soldiers that had gone into hospital, a psychiatric hospital and found art and continued to do it once they left um, the hospital. Excuse me. So um, I got that award. And then this award here, this is the Merseyside Recovery Award 2015. And again, I, I, I was awarded this award again for going out and spraying love on the streets. And the fact that I'd come out from um, a really, really bad um, suicide and s severe depression period. Um, and I was saying, look, to win this, it was like, yeah, I, I've been through hell, you know, to, to, to be in this place now, but look at what I've achieved, do you know what I mean? And then, um, and then this one, which was the, the last one, um, this was, I was nominated for an Echo, a Liverpool Echo um, Award, and, um, and that was based again off what, with the street art that I do and the interaction that it has with the public. So I was made up to kind of, to get that. And like I said earlier, you know, it's about, I, I'm diagnosed with PTSD, I've got borderline personality disorder. Um, you know, I'm medication to, to help me through the day, I'm on medication to help me through the night. But I go out there and I go spraying the love because I know it interacts with people. First and foremost, it's about me and how it makes me feel. And it makes me feel really good to go out there and spray. I know, you know, unfortunately I, I was arrested twice for it. The first time um, was in London, but within a space of a couple of minutes, the police officer, he arrested me because I, I basically told him my story into kind of like, you know, about being in the army and, and then um, it, it just collapsing and, and having a really bad time. And he, he, he um, he de-arrested me and then seven months later I got uh, I got arrested in Liverpool and for doing it and they basically gave me a caution and um, because they knew they knew that this is the guy that sprays the love and this that and the other so they kind of gave me they gave me a caution when they could have you know within their eyes they could have taken me to court for it um, so I know what I do is is having an effect and I think it's having a, a very positive effect um, and that's when you know that's that's the nice side of street art because it is.